I have a small container garden, but I've not been very successful in growing much due to the amount of slugs and snails that have been eating all my mm. plants. Do you have any advice on how to stop them doing this? There's been quite a lot of work done recently with, with these. The, the contents of your cafetiere, provided apparently it's not decaffeinated. Ordinary, good, strong coffee, the grounds in the bottom, not the coffee itself. When you've drunk your coffee, you chuck the grounds away anyway. Put them around plants like hostas that get attacked by slugs a lot. And it's supposed to help repel them. Uh, mixed um, results I've heard with this, but it's worth trying. You know, just it's ordinary ground coffee. Uh, there is another method, though, which I've heard of recently, which I'm very anxious to try. And it involves, can I have my friend in here? Because it involves you having a friend to stop slugs getting on your things. And the, here's my little friend coming in, if he's coming in the right direction. Here we are. Now, you may say to yourself, just a minute, I live in a town garden in London. Liza's bringing he, she or it on. If you take it round there, Liza. Now, I'm going to show you something which you may find rather unpleasant. Face this way, sheep. Uh, now, you need to look here at the back end of the sheep, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, dear. Yes. Now, yes, you see. Now I've we didn't, stood in it already. <laughs> yeah, we didn't groom him as for Crufts. So I can't see whether it's he or a sheep. He didn't get to make it. No. <laughs> but those things, it's, it's a sheep. Yeah. It's a you. L-O-U. L-O-U. No, no, no. Keep up. Um, if you look at the back, sheep get these things where they've been pooing and it sticks in their, you know, wool there. They're called dags. And when you're dagging, you cut those off. Well, somebody has discovered that you can take those, you can treat them, you can turn them into clean, non-smelly pellets like these. Now, if you just have a, sm a smell of that, I'll give sure you the bucket. It's non-smelly. No, it's, if you get your nose and it smells of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty smelly if it smells like that, it must be doing something. It smells some... like rabbit food. It does. Enough. Well, then when you wet it, because it's got wool in it ah. and manure in it, you wet it, it goes like you see, it's quite sort of spongy and, and yes. woolly. You spread it around your plants, sort of six-inch collar around your plants, and then, as it rains on it, the food goes into the ground, but the slugs don't like crawling over the wool. Ah. It takes oh, something out of it. So you've got a lovely organic way of controlling uh, your slugs. Lovely and it's called, way. if you look on the side there, it's, there's a name for it, Slug, slug Gone. Uh, well, we'll see if it works. I'm told from the guy who's gardening up at Chatsworth that it's worked really well in his sweet peas, so try Slug Gone. <laughs>